To me, Seth Rollins is a perfect example of just because some fans like a guy, or a certain set of fans get behind him, or a certain set of fans enjoy somebody, or even if you say a large portion of the audience is generally entertained by a guy, that doesn't automatically make him world championship material. That doesn't automatically make him worthy of a top guy spot. It just doesn't. And if you look at Seth Rollins post-WrestleMania, I think that has proven out to be 1,000% true in his case. Like it's been interesting to me as I took kind of a couple of months away from wrestling and everything to see you know, Seth Rollins go from getting all the good feelings of beating Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania and yeah, 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 to now it seems like everybody's turned on him. And they're annoyed with not the character as much as they are the person. They're annoyed with the character too, and they think the character currently sucks. But they're like annoyed to the bricks with freaking Rollins, the person. And I was trying to catch up and find out what all he had been saying. Because I saw the most recent thing about um, the response to the criticism of the lack of chemistry between him and Becky Lynch on screen, which I'll get to in a moment. But you just see all of these things that he's been popping off at the mouth about. Like talking about Moxley, Ambrose, and his time in WWE, and that ultimately he was given opportunities and, um, you know, basically just putting Moxley's name out there and talking about him in a way that he shouldn't have been talking about because he just didn't need to. And talking about he just couldn't handle it and he wasn't suited for it. Like, who the fuck are you? Because based off of what we've seen the past few months, Seth, you most certainly are not worthy of it either. You know, talking about the WWE is cool to hate. Well, here's the thing. The WWE would act to actually be cool in order for it to be cool to hate it. You get what I'm saying? Like back in the day, WWF was cool. WCW was cool. So if you were WCW, Mark, it was cool for you to crap on WWF. If WWE fan was what you were, WWF fan, excuse me, it was cool to crap on WCW. But deep down, you knew the products were both pretty cool. It's not really cool to crap on it if the product absolutely sucks and has a fraction of the overall viewership compared to what it had 15, 20 damn damn years ago. Just... The shit with Will Ospreay, apparently I missed out on that. Like, you're sitting there bragging on yourself, talking about your grind and all the things you do, and then Ospreay responds, and then you got to bring bank accounts into it. Like, that's bullshit, man. That's a punk-ass move. Just all of these things, and you're like, you know what? That dude doesn't belong in the top spot. Because there's one thing, as a top guy, I understand you feel like you have a certain responsibility to live up to the pressure of the expectations that have been put on your plate. But there's also a way you conduct and carry yourself, and it's just not working. And I can see why the hell the company got the belt off him when it did, because it feels like he was cracking under the pressure. But I think the most ridiculous thing of all to me was Seth Rollins responding to the criticism on the lack of on-screen chemistry. And he was being asked this in an interview, and I'm going to quote him here. I quote, I think those critics might be a little jealous. I think that's where a lot of that stems from. I mean, if I'm a dude and I'm watching television and I have a crush on Becky Lynch, I'm probably not going to be too fond of the guy who's dating her either, so I get that. We have such great chemistry, I think it's funny that people think we don't. Either way, it amuses me. We've just gotten to this really, really sad place in wrestling where everything that anybody says gets a reaction. Does that make sense? Like, fans or wrestling journalists or whatever throw out there a critique or a criticism or an observation, valid or not, and wrestlers feel like they've always got to respond now. You see it with the Alexa Bliss crap and so on and so forth. It just, does it matter? Like if you felt the need to respond to it, clearly it got to you and it just shouldn't get to you. But maybe, just maybe, if you remove the emotion from it for a second, which I know is really hard for people in professional wrestling today, but if you remove the emotion from it and you think 
like bigger picture, you know, people are saying things and enough people are saying things. Maybe there's at least some level of validity to it. Maybe instead of lashing out and saying ridiculous, off the wall, nonsensical bullshit like this, you would bother to actually figure out why people might be saying that. I'm not saying in terms of Seth and Becky in their personal life, whether they've got great chemistry or not. I don't know them personally. I cannot judge that personally. I've not seen a lot of things or seen a lot of footage of them together to give me indication one way or another. All I can speak to is what I have seen on TV and what I also saw in person a few weeks ago when I went up to the Capital One Center in DC uh, for that WWE Live event. That chemistry is not there on screen. Miss Elizabeth and the Macho Man had tremendous on-screen chemistry. Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch have none of that. And no, Seth, that has absolutely nothing to do with you dating fucking Becky Lynch. That is so dumb and so stupid. Because I look at somebody like Renee Michelle, and how many of us would love to have a romp in the hay with her, wife her up like fucking Drake Maverick has. But we don't sit there and crap on Drake Maverick. You know what we do instead? We look forward to his 24-7 title segments on Raw right now because it's one of the very, very few damn redeeming qualities of the show. Helps make up for crappy stuff such as Seth Rollins is a fucking universal champion. I don't see a bunch of fans hating on Drake Maverick in the 24-7 crap because he's married to Renee Michelle and male fans and probably quite a few female fans want to fucking get with her. No, because we don't fucking care. Now, sure. Being realistic, there probably is just a tad bit of that. And always going to be a tad bit of that. Now we have a few nerds that hate you, Seth, because you're dating their dream girl, Becky Lynch. Maybe. Was that 1% or 2% of the audience? I mean, get real. You really think, dude, that people are jealous of you with Becky Lynch and that's why they're saying shit like you don't have chemistry on screen? No, you dumb dick. They're saying you don't have on-screen chemistry because you don't have on-screen chemistry. And I saw that in damn person, too. The fact that they put you two together and they put you in these shitty segments and these shitty interviews and these crappy matches doesn't do anything to make anyone have the feeling that there is an appearance of any level of chemistry here. Like, what the hell is wrong with this dude? You're in the seven-figure club. You're a TV star. In theory, you should be set for life when your wrestling career is over. And you're sitting there griping back at fans, claiming that they're jealous because you're with Becky Lynch? The bluest of blue fucks are you talking about, man? What the hell is wrong with you? Like I said, I offer up Exhibit A. How many dudes would want to get with Renee Michelle and ladies too, and they don't hate Drake Maverick? Because unlike you, Seth, Drake Maverick takes the television time, that precious te television time he gets each week, and by God, he makes the fucking most of it. He is actually an interesting and compelling character, unlike you, which again, I experienced in person. When you came out a few weeks ago in D.C., I said, that's the freaking world champ? Oh, good Lord. Like, it just sucked the life out of it. And even in the suite that I was watching with other people, like, the adults were like, oh, this match is not good. Bad. This is crap. And he was the main event, defending the title in a street fight. And I could even tell the kids that were in that corporate box suite that are sitting there and marking out for Ricochet like crazy and marking out for the Lucha Dragons like you wouldn't believe. When Seth Rollins came out, they were largely disinterested until Becky Lynch came out. Don't be mad because you're the second banana and more people like your girl than they like you. Instead of sitting there and lashing out at the fans and lashing out at the dirt sheets and so forth, maybe take a look at yourself in the mirror and figure out, why am I not getting over the way that I fucking should as the champion or now the ex-champion? Why the hell are these segments with myself and Becky Lynch not working because they're shit? That's why it has nothing to do with jealousy, you dumb dick. I'm not sitting there advocating that Seth Rollins should be going out there and bashing on his employer. Most of us don't do that in our real lives, especially with the type of platform that Seth has. I get that. I understand that. But sit there and say, you know what? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. We have great chemistry and move it the fuck along. See how much better that is? You're just rolling with the punches. 
You're just taking the criticism and you're moving the fuck on. But instead, you got to sit there and there's this trend and pattern and it's kind of disturbing that lets me know that at no point in time in the near future should you be anywhere near a world title for the WWE or any other fucking company. Jealous of you and Becky Lynch, my ass. Try to be better. Try to entertain people more. Try to make the most out of the shitty segments you and Becky have had over the past several weeks. And maybe more fans would like you. And maybe fewer people would be criticizing you guys for the lack of on-screen chemistry because I got news for you, Seth. It ain't there! It clearly isn't! Even a partially blind person can see it. Good Christ. Wrestlers are the biggest babies in the world now. And that's why you need me. And that's why you need OTRS Central. Not the wrestling show you want. Just the wrestling show you need. Seth Rollins, grow a spine. Get over yourself.